Hello, this is Mike Lively, and today we're doing something a little bit different. Uh, this is a live series that we're going through on Java, and this is lesson one. And when we're done with this series, we'll start the lesson two. When there's questions from the student, you will not be able to hear them, but I actually will be typing those in the screen. And so go ahead and read those, and that will be the context of what I'm answering. So thanks for listening, and let's get started. I was horrible in it. It didn't make... It made... No no, no, it's machine like it's down on the coding on the machine level. It's like hexadecimal. You're adding and moving hexadecimal around is actually what you're doing. And it was terrible. And I had a friend who helped me through it. And to make things worse, uh, when I went to uh, Palm Beach Community College and became uh, the uh, chair of the electronics department there, I ended up having to teach hexadecimal. Can you believe it? Ah. Oh teaching machine language. I couldn't believe it. I mean, it, your sins really come back on you, you know, after you've done something. Or you didn't, you, once you fail a test, you have to take it again. Oh, my God, I had to teach this, this, this for like three years or five years. Oh, my Lord. So a lot of people, believe it or not, hexadecimal is really fast. It's machine language. And believe it, there are people out there who write in assembly because it's so fast. So if you have a game you want to put on the web and make it really, really fast, you can write portions of it in assembly. And there are assembler programs out there, programmers out there, but it's really hard. It's not human readable. That's the big thing. We need something that's human readable that can talk to your CPU. And that's these upper level languages. That's when you have C++ and C. Started off with BASIC and Visual BASIC and Java. Okay, so uh, Java, like I said, is the most popular language. It runs on what's called a Java Virtual Machine, JVM. And so you're going to write something that's human readable. You're going to compile it into a class or bytecode. And that bytecode is going to run on the, JV, on the JVM, the, the Java Virtual Machine, which exists on anything. It'll live on anything. It can live on a phone, it can live on a Mac, it can live on Linux, it can live on uh, Windows, and the, the uh, bytecode will run on that Java virtual machine. You got it. That's it. It's, it's, it's updating that Java virtual machine. And that's really fantastic because a few years that wasn't happening. And so, and when I say a few years ago, you, I'm a really old guy, so you know, a number of years ago. And Java's just taken precedence. It's on everything now. Okay, so you're, you are really learning the right language. Uh, C++ is a very powerful, very fast um, language. And uh, many people used to say, well, C++ is just so much faster than Java. You know, that's what I'm going to build my games in. But that's not necessarily true anymore. If you look at the stuff now, Java's really catching up with C++. And if you write your Java the right way, you know, efficiently, it's actually just as, just as fast as C++. Okay, so you can build your 3D games in Java not, as long as you do them right. So just to cover what I just said, you're going to create this dot .java code. That's what we're going to do in Eclipse. Then when you run it, it's going to compile, okay, and it's going to create bytecode, and that bytecode will run on the Java virtual machine. So that's the whole process we're going to be going through over and over again. And when you watch, if you go back and watch Bucky's first video or his second video, he'll, he's going to show you the whole process. He'll do it from the command line. Okay, but we're not going to worry about that. We're going to be running Eclipse. And look, look at MIT's courseware. Hey, they're in Eclipse because they know this is the future and this is the right uh, stuff to do this in. And here's your first program class, Hello World. All right? So I'm going to explain this to you, and then we're going to go run it. I'll let you go build it, okay? So probably what you should do is you should kind of pull this slide up on your side. All right? Go to the class, and we're going to have you type this in. I'm going to explain what this whole program means, all right? I think you're good. Just go ahead and click on the PDF and bring it up so you can have it on your screen because you're going to type this into your Eclipse. And then at that point, after I explain the program, you know what? Well, let me just explain the program. I'll have you bring everything up. What, how's that? Okay, you've already seen the class structure before. So every class is going to start with the name class, right? And then you're just going to create a name. You're going to make it any name you want, okay? It's going to be capitalized. And many times you, in some programs, you must save this as that same name. So this would be saved as hello.as. Or hello, excuse me, hello.java. I'm thinking action script, forgive me. And so that's the beginning. And so there's a curly bracket that starts it, right? And then there must be what? A curly bracket that ends it. And if you don't do that, then you're malformed. Now, the next thing you're going to see, you're going to see so many times in all different Java programs, this is just basically memorize it because you're going to be typing this over and over again, okay? It's public static void main in parenthesis strings. And you see that little brackets right there? Do you remember what a brackets means? Array. So you you're actually can bring array elements in through uh, the Java program through this array. And then arguments. Now let me just say a few things real quick here. You can switch public and static. That doesn't, their order doesn't matter. These are actually modifiers. You remember the public uh, modifier is, has to do with the scope of the program, right? And static can be like a decoration of a static variable, for example. Re void means that you're what? 
not returning anything. So you may have gotten that from the PHP or not, the course that we went through, but void means you're not returning anything. And here's the important thing, is that main is a, an important name. It's always this name that tells Java to start the program here. It's the most efficient way that Java knows to start and go at main. So every Java program is going to have this main if it's going to run. Otherwise, it's not going to run. Now, these other two parameters, you actually can put the, uh, the brackets here on the arguments instead. And this name, arguments, is not significant. A lot of people just use the word args, and I'll show you that, okay? So, and you put that together, and that's your first method. And we talked about methods in the PHP course, all right? It's like a function, but whenever a function's inside a class, it's called a method. And here's the only uh, command thing that's going to run inside your uh, method. It's going to be this system.out.println, and then you see the quotes, because that's a string, hello world. Okay, now this is what? An internal function to Java. It's already there in its, in its uh, kind of its classes or its method, and you just call it up. System is going to be your console. And so we're going to run this, and you'll see this is going to print out to your console. What the ln print line means is it's going to, in a sense, do a carriage return. So after it prints, it's going to do a carriage return, and you start on the next line. Now, if you just have print without the ln, it'll just print everything on the same line, keep printing on the same line. So if you had a cascade of just prints without the ln, it'll just all print on the same line. Uh, so here we are right here. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna actually going to write this program for you. So let me go to uh, bring my Eclipse up. And so in my Eclipse right here, I'm going to just click on the Hello World. And there's my Hello World right there, and I have a, a system.out print line Hello World. 